if you need to write an abstract for an academic or scientific paper. Don't panic, your abstract is simply a short, stand-alone summary of the work or paper that others can use as an overview. An abstract describes what you do in your essay, whether it's a scientific experiment or a literary analysis paper, it should help your reader understand the paper and help people searching for this paper, whether it suits their purpose prior to reading. To write an abstract, finish your paper first. Then types a summary that identifies the purpose, problem, method, results, and conclusion of your work after you get the detail down, well that left us to format it correctly, since an abstract is only a summary of the work you have already done, it's easy to accomplish. Now write an abstract in three easy parts. Part 1. Getting your abstract started. Write your paper first. Even though an abstract goes at the beginning of the work, it acts as a summary of your entire paper. Rather than introducing your topic, it will be an overview of everything you write about in your paper. Save writing your abstract for last after you have already finished your paper. A thesis and an abstract are entirely different things. The thesis of a paper introduces the main idea of question, while the abstract work to review the entirety of the paper, including the method and results. Review and understand any requirements for writing your abstract. The paper you are writing probably has specific guidelines and requirements. Whether it's for publication in a journal, submission in a class, or part of a work project, before you start writing, refer to the rubric or guideline you were presented with to identify important issues to keep in mind. First, is there a maximum or minimum length? Second, are there style requirements? Third, are you writing for an instructor or a publication? Consider your audience. Abstracts are written to help readers to find your work. For example, in scientific journals, abstracts allow readers to quickly decide whether the research discussed is relevant to their own interests. Abstracts also help your reader get at your main argument quickly. Keep the needs of your readers in mind as you write the abstract. 1. Will other academics in your field read this abstract? 2. Should it be accessible to a lay reader or somebody from another field? Determine the types of abstract you must write. Although all abstracts accomplish essentially the same goal, there are two primary styles of abstract, descriptive and informative. Descriptive abstract explain the purpose, goals, and methods of your research, but leave out the research section. These are typically only 100 or 200 words. Informative abstracts are like a condensed version of your paper, giving an overview of everything in your research including the results. These are much longer than descriptive abstracts, and can be anywhere from a single paragraph to whole page long. Identify your purpose. You are writing about a correlation between lack of lunches in school and poor grades. So what? Why does this matter? The reader want to know why your research is important, and what purpose of it is. Start off your descriptive abstract by considering the following questions. 1. Did you decide to this study or project? 2. Did you conduct your research? 3. Did you find? 4. Is this research and your finding important? 5. Should someone read your entire essay? Explain the problem at hand. 
abstract states the problem behind your work think of this as the specific issue that your research or project addresses you can sometimes combine the problem with your motivation but it is best to be clear and separate the two what problem is your research trying to better understand or solve what is the scope of your study a general problem or something specific what is your main claim or argument explain your methods motivation check problem check methods now is the part where you give an overview of how you accomplished your study if you did your own work include a description of it here if you reviewed the work of others it can be briefly explained discuss your own research including the variables and your approach describe the evidence you have to support your claim give an overview of your most important source describe your results and formative abstract only this is where you begin to differentiate your abstract between a descriptive and an informative abstract in an informative abstract you will be asked to provide the results of your study what is it that you found what answer did you reach from your research or study was your hypothesis or argument supported what are general findings give your conclusion this should finish up your summary and give closure to your abstract in it address the meaning of your findings as well as the importance of your overall paper this format of having a conclusion can be used in both descriptive and informative abstracts but you will only address the following questions in an informative abstract one are the implications of your work two part three formatting your abstract keep it in order there are specific questions your abstract must provide answers for but the answer must be kept in order as well ideally it should mimic the overall format of your essay with a general introduction body and conclusion many generals have specific style guides for abstracts if you have been given a set of rules or guidance follow to the letter provide helpful information unlike a topic paragraph which may be intentionally vague an abstract should provide a helpful explanation of your paper and your research word your abstract so that the reader knows exactly what you are talking about and is not left hanging with ambiguous reference or phrases avoid using direct acronyms or abbreviation in the abstract as these will need to be explained in order to making sense to the reader that uses a precious writing room and should general be avoiding if your topic is about something well known enough you can reference the names of people or place that your paper focuses on Don't include tables figures source of long quotations in your abstract these take up too much room and usually are not what your reader want from an abstract anyway Write it from scratch your abstract as a summary Yes but it should be written completely separate from your paper don't copy and paste direct quotes from yourself and avoid simply paraphrasing your own sentence from elsewhere in your writing write your abstract using completely new vocabulary and phrases to keep it interesting and redundancy free use key phrases and words If your abstract is to be published in a journal you want people to able to find it easily 
In order to do so, reader will search for certain queries on online database in hopes that paper. For example, if you are writing a paper on the cultural differences in participation of schizophrenia, be sure to use words like schizophrenia, cross-cultural, cultural bound, mental illness, and societal acceptance. These might be search terms people use when looking for a paper on your subject. Avoid being too specific. An abstract is a summary, and as such should not refer to specific point of your research other than possibly names and locations. You should not need to explain it. Define any terms in your abstract. A reference is all that is needed. Avoid being too explicit in your summary and stick to a very broad overview of your work. Be sure to do basic revision. The abstract is the piece of writing that like any other, should be revised before being complicated. Check it over for grammatical and spelling error, and make sure it is formatted properly. Get feedback from someone. Having someone else read your abstract is a great way to you to know whether you have summarizing your research well. Try to find someone who does not know everything about your project. Ask them to read your abstract and then tell you what they understood from it. This will let you know whether you have adequately communicated your key point in a clear way. Thank you for watching. I hope you can understand how to write abstract in research paper in easy three parts. Please like, share, and subscribe channel for more informative videos about research.